We at Newsroom are regularly joined by the team from Newnovation, a digital platform that focuses on amplifying innovation and good news from across Africa. Along with new innovations, the platform highlights selfless actions by individuals, companies and governments on the continent. And yet to give us the latest from Africa's good news is a Newnovation founder, Katu Mashal. Katu, finally in the country, where have you been traveling to? Well, I just came back last night from Morocco. We were celebrating the best of African innovation, the Innovation Prize for Africa. So it was good. It was exciting. Then there was Germany, where I was dealing with electronic mobility, which is what we're going to talk about quickly now. Uh -huh. And then there's France now. My colleague is in France for the Cannes Film Festival. So innovation is, is our part, is you, your partner. We're doing well. However, with your support and everybody else's support, we try. Definitely. <laughs> just to put us on the plane next year. Please. <laughs> we can go uh, next week. <laughs> okay, we'll do that, we'll do that. Katu, let's just start before we get to those motors, like you've just said. The city of Johannesburg Smart Plan, a yes. plan to educate young people on how to improve their skills when it comes to technology. What is this all about? Well, um, they've got fiber that is laid underground, and smart cities all over the world are based on connectedness on connectivity as it is. Now, with fiber being laid underground, you need young people or skills to be able to maintain that. You need it to be utilized in such a way that it will benefit the communities. It is of no use for fiber to be underground and yet it does not reach homes, industries and sectors. So we realize, they realize that there is a need to develop a, a resource base whereby young people are trained in 21st century skills to be able to work on those particular uh, elements of uh, uh, connectivity. Now, we are currently training with New Innovation Africa Foundation and various uh, uh, sponsors like your Fibercore, uh, Microsoft, and, and the city of Johannesburg that have actually come out and say, we are going to train these young people on network engineering, on fiber optics, on uh, uh, se se uh, security on the net, and furthermore, help them to develop applications that can then be used out there. So they have... Uh, uh, um, um, recruited about 250 young people that are currently going through that vigorous training. For four months, they'll be going through training, and then after four months, after four months, they go into a work, working environment. After the working environment, we expose them to the international exposure, uh, international markets, for them to understand how connectivity is in other European countries, other African countries. And all in all, we're looking to have a thousand young people wow. finally going through. So a lot of people keep on saying governments are putting things that are not really working but here we're saying the city of Johannesburg is actually leading the pack and they have committed and they're actually doing what they needed to do mm -hmm. and it's happening downtown Newtown at Cyber no anybody who wants to come and visit they can come and visit and see what we're doing there I would say the selected group is a lucky group of young people how yeah. were these students selected what ages are we looking at how is it working we're looking at ages of 18 to 35 as, as, as we try to be politically mm -hmm. and uh, correct. Uh, but most importantly, we wanted to give everybody an opportunity uh, from all the villages around Johannesburg and uh, whether they should be a, a having a minimum of metric or a related qualification. Um, we then looked at also at the vigor, the willingness to learn and the, willing, the, the ability for them to dream and be innovative. But most importantly, what we wanted is to get young people that have got a drive to say we want to be part of the future cities and be part of the smart cities not only as employees but get skills and be able to uh, contribute uh, positively and significantly to the development of the of the city and the economy I would say really a clever plan by the city of Joburg is this the way forward I know this morning reports of um, the Gauteng education department saying that yes. the tablets they've sent into schools are being stolen they're now taking those tablets yes. back you know, there are so many challenges, but if more, if, for instance, the city of Tswane start looking at doing the same thing, yeah. there is a way forward. Yes, there is. You know, it's, it, it pains my heart because I've, I know the people that have been working on that, and when they say now they are pulling back, it means that the paperless classroom concept is gone purely because of, say, of uh, thievery or thuggery that is happening in our communities. And unless if us as communities and as parents, we st they stand up and say, this shall not happen in our own communities, because the people People that are robbing and going to steal those uh, lap, uh, iPads or uh, laptops or whatever are people that we know in the same community. So we need to take care of our own. I'm worried.
it because in the city of Johannesburg, we are giving these young people laptops to ensure that they are able to work because it's of no use to have for them to have laptops uh, or for us to have fiber and internet connectivity when young people cannot access it. So we, this, these people have been given laptops. Suppose they all get robbed on the street. What, should, what would it be? You know? So we, we, still, we need to find better ways of controlling this and better ways of working with the law enforcement to ensure that we nip this kind of um, uh, uh, threats uh, in the butt. Then, Katsu, just to end yes. off with, I think you said we're going to talk about e-mobility as yes. well. What are the exciting developments around that? The Technology Innovation Agency in Pretoria with the new CEO, well done, congratulations to the, to the they've got a new CEO now. But what they did uh, with the skills development unit, uh, they felt that um, the electronic mobility sector is growing and we do not have the right people that can actually service this particular skills, uh, uh, this particular industry, because it's not only about electronic cars that you see with your Tesla, your BMW, and your Nissan, but it is a whole lot of things that you can see behind it. And if you look at it, it has been identified as the industry of the elite, whereby uh, the, a Tesla is not your average car that anybody can afford. Nissan, Nissan, Nissan Leaf, it's not everybody that can afford it, but we needed to... Uh, uh, get more and more young people that can be more innovative and come up with ideas to bring down the cost to, to improve the issues of charging and the mobility across the entire country. What, we are start, what they are starting with is your uh, pedicabs, uh, in terms of pedaling cab, cab, cabs that you pedal that are, electronic mob, uh, uh, that are using electronic mobility. Um, we, we will be rolling out something happening in the next uh, three months um, with the Uyilo group that is based in its it's a, it's a governmental institution that is based in PE. And uh, with, the TIA, with TIA, what they are trying to do is to ensure that those young people that we've just recently came back with from Germany that were exposed to Porsche, to Daimler Chrysler, to Renault, to various institutions to see and have them to understand what is happening such that they can come back now and their ideas that they've got be able to uh, push them through through their different uh, existing programs that uh, that the TIA and various institutions have. So you could see that already there's a lot of good things that South Africa is doing that these governmental institutions are doing. But when we talk of mobility, people think of a car. It's not just a car. Not just a car, there's definitely. A, yeah, there's issues mm -hmm. of battery, four cords, and a whole lot of things. Okay, yeah. Well, founder of New Innovation, Katu Mashal, always bringing us the good news. Yes. There is so much to be excited yeah, about. Thank you about. for joining us today, Katu. Thank and you very uh, much. enjoy your travels. Yeah. I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>